Hi, good morning to you all and a warm welcome. I'm Sage and you are watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. And this is the Global Markets Roundup. US stocks rebound and S&P 500 ends this week flat. The major US stock markets benchmark indexes, the S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average and NASDAQ Composite Index bounced back on Friday, April 23rd from Thursday's slump following the news on President Joe Biden's proposal for a higher tax rate on capital gains. The S&P 500, which hit an all-time high last Friday, gained 45 points today. Dow Jones and Nasdaq Composite picked up 228 points and 198 points respectively. The S&P 500 rallied 1.09% on Friday to 4,180.17. The Dow Jones was up 0.67% to 34,043.49. The Nasdaq Composite Index rose 1.44% to 14,016.81, while the small cap Russell 2000 grew 1.76% to 2,271.86. The seasonally adjusted annual rate of new house sales in the US jumped 20.7% to 1.02 million during March, according to the latest data from the US Census Bureau and Department of Housing and Urban Development. In February, the figure fell 16.2%. And meanwhile, shares of Intel fell 5.2% on Friday after the semiconductor company reported a 1% year-over-year decline in its first quarter sales. Intel's data center revenue during the three months fell 20% year-over-year. Technology giants including Apple, Amazon.com, Google's parent company Alphabet and Facebook will release their quarterly earnings next week. Let's move on to the top gainers and top losers. Top performers on S&P 500 were SVB Financial Group in the green 8.72%, Seagate Technology PLC up 6.03%, Zilinx Inc 5.35% in the green and American Airlines Group Inc also up 5.18%, Cypress Solutions Inc 59.07% up, U Zinc Limited up 58.09%, Microvision Inc up 36.76% and BioVi Inc up 33.11%. They were the top performers on the NASDAQ. On Dow Jones, Goldman Sachs Group Inc was in the green 2.57%, Dow Inc up 1.94%, JP Morgan Chase & Co up 1.91% and Apple Inc up 1.80%. They gained the most. Top laggards on the S&P 500 were Kimberly Clark Corp down 5.86%, Intel Corp down 5.32%, Clorox Co down 3.35% and Church and White Co Inc down 2.31%. Inovio Pharmaceuticals Inc down a whopping 24.97%, Protara Therapeutics Inc down 18.41%, Abraxas Petroleum Corp down 14.58% and EDAP TMSA down 12.90%. They were among the top losers on NASDAQ on Dow Jones. Intel Corp was down 5.32%, Honeywell International Inc. down 2.08%, American Express Co. down 1.92% and Procter & Gamble also down 0.51% and they were the laggards. And now volume movers. The top volume movers were Ocugen Inc. with 65.11 million, Intel Corp. with 20.75 million, Apple Inc. with 16.91 million, Microvision 16.58 million, Cypress Solutions Inc. 14.54 million, Naked Brand Group, PTY 13.83 million advanced micro devices Inc 11.87 million and AT&T Inc 10.14 million. Moving on to futures and commodities, the gold futures were down 0.29% to 1,776.75 per ounce on Friday. Silver fell 0.54% to 26.038 US dollars an ounce, while copper grew 1.42% to 4.3335. Brent oil futures increased 0.90% to $65.90 per barrel, and WTI crude oil grew 1.01% to US $62.05 per barrel. And finally, the bond market, the 30-year Treasury bond yields declined 0.25% to 2.235. The 10-year bond yields fell 0.22% to 1.5595. And the US dollar futures index was down 0.57% to 90.797 on April 23rd. 
All right, then, that's all for now. Stay tuned with Kalkine TV for more live market updates, and we will be back with more news on the markets, economy, and diverse themes and sectors. This is Sage signing off.